Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I'm a force a generation witch. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk all about smoke smudging, smoke cleansing, the rituals and the ceremonies that we might use. Today we're back inside because it's pouring with rain, there's thunderstorms everywhere. I think summer's over. I'm a bit upset because the Thorcast looks grim for the next couple of weeks. So here we are back in my loft and today I want to do a video all about smoke. I have talked about this before on my channel but I don't think I've really gone in depth about it. I've only talked about a, a smoke cleanse or otherwise known as a smudge. Forgive me, I'm not trying to appropriate any Native American um, sacred ceremonies. Smoke cleanse has been used by traditional witches forever, as much as it's been used by every religion throughout the world. I do appropriate the use of the word a smudge because that incorporates all that I need to say without saying smoke cleanse or performing a smoke ritual. So forgive me, Native Americans, but language evolves. And now I want to talk about why you might want to do a cleanse in the first place and what it does. A smoke cleanse basically pulls smoke throughout your aura. And smoke is an amazing, useful tool because it can pick up and remove negativity from within inside your personal space. Smoke is used in two different ways. Firstly, as a cleanser and secondly, as a carrier because it's very pervasive, meaning it gets in all those nooks and crannies. So you might use smoke to cleanse your aura, for example, especially when you've picked up negativity or you've got a lot of stress. And this is a ritual that I carry out all the time. And it's very simple, so I'm gonna show you what I do. I take my incense stick or my smudge stick or my Paolo Santo piece of wood and I start with the head. I take it round my head, I make sure I smudge the back of my shoulders, my hands because these are the end points of your body, my feet, it's very important to smudge your feet because you can pick up negativity through touching the floor and your stomach because this is your body's centre. If you do all those, the bits in between don't matter that much. That's more for individual and more defined cleansing. For example, some people I know will exit negativity from their body through their elbows. So if you're one of these people, you would smudge an elbow. Who knew? Now what the smoke is doing here, it is combing the negativity through your aura. And sometimes the smoke itself is not enough and needs help. Hence why you might use a feather. So in order to comb your aura more, you cut the feather through your aura with the smoke. And it works really well. One of my patrons carries their negativity on their right arm, which is interesting. And so one of the best ways for them to get rid of their negativity is to smudge their right arm and then cut it out with the feather. I personally like to use cleansing smoke throughout my rituals and craft. The reason is, is because I can ensure that it is cleansing my workspace before I start. So it's getting rid of any other energy that might be there and making it a neutral area. It is also ensuring that there's no negativity in the area which could influence any spell craft that I'm working on. Hence why I like to do it. I also like to do it after I have cried. This is a lovely ritual to carry out. When you cry, which is a very important part of human emotions, you are releasing tensions, stresses and strains and it's getting them out. And one of the easiest way is to do it is by tears. Now, once those tears have come out, there's a lot of negativity hanging around this area. So a really good smudging around the head area and cut through that smoke with the feather will work wonders. The other way I like to use a smoke cleanse is of course to get rid of anything negative in my house. I also like to use a singing bowl to do this because the vibrations permeate through every area. However, I enjoy smoke and I enjoy the smell, especially of white sage. And so therefore that is why I like to use a sage smoke 
bundle. I find it brings on my third eye. Before, you know, the white sage was known about in this country, we did use just bundles of herbs, of which sage might be a single one. However, once this sort of white sage knowledge had come through to me anyway, I started to use them. They used to make me what I thought was hallucinate at the time. And it was only afterwards that I realised I wasn't hallucinating. I was actually seeing some other creatures and other entities entering my space. There are many different ways that you can use smoke in your practice. So, of course, we've got the incense stick old joss stick which comes in a variety of flavours pick the one that you just like that will resonate the best with your energy I've also got an oil lamp I particularly like oil lamp because it gives a very dark thick smoke it does help with spellcraft then we've got the essential oil burner this is also a form of smoke apart from making delicious smells throughout your home it also utilizes essential oils with smoke so it's a double whammy so you can mix and match your essential oils to create for example a happy home some people prefer palo santo for me it doesn't work as well i don't think my energy is particularly aligned with palo santo you know, when i'm with my patrons i might use it with them their energy is aligned with palo santo however for me yeah, i think i'd rather burn bay leaves just doesn't do the job I like to use candles and spirit lamps when I'm doing spell work because you can dress the candle with your intent with essential oils and to make sure that then when that candle burns it's taking your spell out which is what I mean when I said that smoke is a carrier because it carries your intent and your purpose out to its destination. The other thing that I like to use incense for, and it is something that um, I don't know anybody else who does this, but I do it. And if you're one of my patrons, you'll know because we do it in every coven meeting, is where we are on an internet call with each other. You can take your smudge stick and take it round your head and I will do the same. We'll do it in tandem and I can feel through that incense stick and through the smoke what's going on with your aura and whether you've got any entities on you and what's happening and I don't know anyone else who really does that apart from me so I don't know how even to explain how to do it it's just I feel it if any of my patrons are watching this will you let me know what you think I'm doing because you're the people who've seen me do this and I'd love to know what you think as you can tell, I am a bit of a smoke fan. It is part of my practice and I do use it on a daily basis. I enjoy a lovely cleanse. I can feel the lightness in myself once I do it. I like to know that everything is neutral and balanced before I start any work. And it's great to know that the smoke is taking my intentions to their destination. I cannot recommend it enough. Do let me know in the comments what you think, because I'd be very interested to know your opinions on this subject. But otherwise, don't forget to look at patreon.com for all the details about our next coven meeting, which is coming up. I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe, because that really helps my channel and enables me to carry on making these videos. And otherwise, I will see you in a couple of days.